All right, evening everyone. This is Steve coming back and doing a video for you again. Um, I'm re-recording this one because uh, I didn't have audio, and so I took it down. And I had uh, so I had to find out what my audio problem was. And after about five hours, I think I finally figured it out. Um, nonetheless, folks. Let me be doing a book review for you again. Uh, before we jump into the book review, I do appreciate it if you're already subscribed to my channel already. And if not, I do encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, just hit the uh, bell shape icon down below there, and that will uh, subscribe you to my channel. And anytime that I put a new video out, you will be alerted to uh, those new videos. Uh, they'll just pop up in your email address or under your messenger window. And uh, folks, if you do like this video, I do encourage you to hit the thumbs up button there on the uh, screen. And I would appreciate that very much. Leave a comment down below and I would appreciate that as well. Forgive me here, I'm going to open up. Burner's ginger ale and a little fruit here. And um, again, as always, I do appreciate the comments. Uh, I will try to answer them as much as possible. Uh, please do try to keep the content relevant to the, uh, the channel if you don't mind. Um, other than that, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the review really quick. And I hope you enjoy it, folks. Um, this particular review is on the book by Zena Blaze, Angels of Love, uh, Magic Rituals to Heal Hearts, Increase Passion, and Find Your Soulmates. Okay. Uh, this book was published back in 2015, again, by Zena Blaze, one of the authors with the Gallery of Magic. And she also did publish the Seven Pieces of Soul Power, which I already did a review on a couple months back. She also has two musical compositions published. Uh, the first one is An Echo of Angels, and the second is Opening to Archangels. You can hear selected tracks from her, uh, from her magical, I'm sorry, musical compositions uh, at her website, www.zanablaze.com. Dot com as always her published works to <coughs> me are available through amazon.com and other outlets all right folks angels of love let's face it folks love 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 and as the beatles once sang all you need is love well maybe maybe not who knows we'll figure Love is most certainly a fickle thing, and when it comes to finding a mate, especially a soulmate, we as humans mostly get it wrong, at least in my opinion. Okay. Uh, from the young lady who always seems to be falling for the bad boy routine and getting her heart broken, or to the skinny little nerd that always seems to be falling for the quarterback's girlfriend, we all seem to punish ourselves over this thing we call love. In itself, when it comes to magic rituals of love are probably the most sought after next to money and of course probably revenge. But unlike rituals for money and or revenge, love rituals always seem to have a lot that can go wrong even when you are being the most careful about it. So no special ingredients are needed uh, for any Books, folks. No oils, no candles, no herbs. All you need is an open mind and a willingness to practice and put forth a good effort. Okay. Uh, the book does contain a total of seven rituals, three regarding the aspects of love, and I'll explain each of those in a moment. And the other four rituals are dedicated to soul mate magic, again, which I will also explain those. 
And wouldn't you know it, uh, this book also contains a whole lot of advice on, you guessed it, love. And uh, we're talking from sensing love to finding love, problems we have with wanting perfection or not wanting perfection for some people, or on recognizing your soulmate or deciding do you really need a soulmate? Are you willing to make compromises? Are you not willing to make compromises? So on and so forth. Uh, the book itself does also contain a pronunciation section in the back of the book. And also for those of you that are familiar with Andy Grabowski's book by Damon Brand, um, you will find the essential format to be very, very similar, if not exact. So you will find also that all of the angels that appear in this book also appear in Angels of Alchemy. And I will show that to you in just a moment and explain that. So let me kind of turn to one of the sigils really quick. Again, if you're familiar with Angels of Alchemy, you are very, very familiar with this sigil format. Uh, you do have the uh, assisting angels over here on the side, along with the attending angel or the uh, angel that oversees the operation, which is the final name that you mentioned. And this is the angel who um, oversees the operation as well, written in Hebrew. So, of course, you're going to read it right to left. Whenever you read and scan the black area of the circle here in Ritual, you will start at the gray clock spot and move around kind of clockwise, of course. Okay, so when you do open the Ritual, uh, I'm sorry, when you do open the book, um, the Rituals Involving Love, you will notice that the first ritual that you come to has to do with healing a damaged relationship. And just in case, sorry, um, I did have the other book here, Angels of Alchemy. Uh, this is the one that we are referring to. Um, I was just referring to a moment ago. Um, okay, so healing a damaged relationship. While most of us might not think that we need healing from a bad or past relationship, we would, most of us, of course, be wrong, even if you haven't been in a relationship for many years. Uh, even if it was, uh, you know, you from your first heartbreak, uh, you know, back in the seventh grade, um, you are more than likely, uh, you more than likely have not really moved on from that pain of that, you know, particular breakup. So uh, don't discount this first ritual whatsoever. Zeno Blaze does. Recommend that, of course, you do go through all the rituals in order. Um, so again, you know, I would start with this particular ritual uh, of healing a damaged relationship, especially if you've had quite a few of them in the past. Um, you, it's going to be something that will be very uh, beneficial to you. Okay. And before I, I go on to anything else um, really quick, I do want to mention that a couple of days ago, I was flipping through um, my journals here and I was looking for uh, some particular information on the rituals I did a couple months ago. I record everything um, that I do uh, pretty much regardless how small it is. And uh, all my ritual planning is pretty much put in this book. So if I need a note for anything, I could go back. Uh, once this book gets full, I stick it on my bookshelf and then I grab a, a blank book to go ahead and work with as my next one. And I date everything and, and keep track of everything. So anyways, I was just happened to be flipping through that book. And I thought, well, I, I've never done any of the rituals in the Angels of Love. But apparently I am mistaken about that. Because a number of years back, when I purchased the book back in 2016, I did do the first three rituals in this book. And while I didn't particularly attract any uh, any individuals, uh, any people,
both for any type of relationship, I did, in an overall sense, attract more love into my life from the people around me, um, friends and colleagues, and, you know, people that I you know, ended up meeting um, on a day-to-day basis through doing errands and things like that. Um, so, again, I, I did do the first three rituals a number of years back. I didn't do any of the soulmate rituals, though. So, anyways, uh, back on with the review. The uh, first one, healing a damaged relationship. This ritual is, of course, for anyone that has had pain caused to them by a relationship, and you can uh, bring the healing you need to order. Uh, I'm sorry, bring you the need, the healing you need to move forward um, in your in your life and your current and even future relationship. Uh, in this ritual, you will contact the angel or Paniel, okay? And in Angels of Alchemy, or Paniel is the angel of light and is called upon when you need to deal with things that are uh, involve difficult emotions that occur during relationships, as well as themes of pain and breakup, and bring you relief from your suffering and feelings of loss. And really, folks, I mean, the or Paniel does do other things as well. Um, when you look her up in the Angels of Alchemy, but again, all these angels are going to correspond with all these uh, rituals here in the Angels of Love section. So um, it's it's not a coincidence. All right. Uh, in the ritual to increase passion, the second one, uh, you do find out that passion isn't just about having great sex. But it's also the passion we have for life in general, as well as uh, just life that we have with our friends and family. Naturally, passion does fade over time. However, uh, some of the best relationships remain richly passionate because the couple is always seeking to bring that feeling back into relationship time and time again. So here you will contact the angel uh, Rav Kiel. And again, in Angels of Alchemy, Raphael is the angel of passion. And as the angel of passion, they assist in bringing joy and bring a pleasure from living life to its fullest. Okay, you can also call on this angel to help increase personal vigor or when you are in need to increase passion for your pre- appreciation of life. Okay. In the Bonds of Love, the third ritual, you can strengthen the bonds with your lover. Once this bond is felt, uh, the small problems seem to fall away and aren't very noticeable at all. The contact angel for this is Sha'ariel, and an angel of alchemy. This angel is the angel of illumination and will help you appreciate the genuine bond of love between you and another person. Lover or your soulmate in particular, it could be a family member, a close friend, something like that. Um, and finally, let's move on to the soulmate rituals uh, involved in this book. Uh, the first one is the capacity for love, and in this ritual, it enables you to feel more love for friends and new friends. This ritual does help push away uh, feelings of loneliness. Excuse me, and the yearning, and uh, puts you in a place to meet your soulmate. And the angel involved in this uh, ritual is Trumiel, and Trumiel is the angel of exaltation. And he ensures that uh, you are seen in a good light by others, whether it is in your workplace, family, or social settings. If you ever feel that you are an outsider, or feel that you're on the um, outside looking in or feeling uh, from a point of lowliness, um, Trumiel can help raise your profile so that you are seen in a good light by other people. Okay, and the ritual to increase appeal helps make you more confident and outgoing. Uh, you won't attract you won't be attractive to everybody you, that you meet, but it will uh, make a difference in the way people do treat and react towards you. And 
Amiel is the angel that uh, helps me along in this ritual. Okay, Amiel is the angel of charm and Archangel, I'm sorry, angels of alchemy. Okay, and can assist you in becoming uh, the most charming and attractive version of yourself. And this angel does help you access your raw sexual charisma so that others will see your inner charm by those you might encounter. Uh, access your sexual charisma so that others will see you, see your inner charm as uh, by those you encounter. Yeah. Um, sorry, I, I thought I like misread that. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. And let's see, two rituals here: uh, the stirring up reality ritual. Um, brings in a flux of change into your life, which increases the synchronicities uh, in order to cause change and open opportunities to potentially meet your soulmate. Okay, uh, Zach Rael does guide you along in the in this particular ritual, and in Angels of Alchemy, Zach Rael is the angel of instigation and can change. Uh, can make change more likely lead to new opportunities, chance meetings, and surprise events that can influence your future. And finally, the last ritual is the Blossoming of Love ritual, which helps you find out if you've met your soulmate. Your love will expand and reach to its full potential. If there is no future for the couple, the energy will simply peak and then uh, settle down uh, F, uh, rather quickly at this. Um, whereas if you have met your soulmate, you will feel that the energy is expanding and it does make uh, make it obvious that you have met your soulmate or you met the person you're here to be with. Uh, Carviel does help you along in this path and Carviel is the angel of unfolding. And has the power to let situations unfold at great speed. The situation does reach its maximum potential in a very short amount of time. And this can apply to a lot of things, not just relationships, but business ventures, creative projects, and other things that you may hold interest in. So, uh, with that, folks, uh, that is going to be the review for Angels of Love by Zen and Blaze. Uh, of course, this book is available at Amazon.com and available in Kindle format as well as my digital copy. And if you are interested in Angels of Alchemy by Damon Brand, uh, which does cover the angels that I covered in here as well, that is also available at Amazon.com. Again, Kindle and printed version. Uh, and with that, folks, I think we're going to call this review done. Um, I do thank you for your time and attention in this uh, video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next. Take care. Have a great evening and infernal blessings.